welcome to the session in this video i am going to talk about conducting polymers and polyethylene conducting polymers generally metals metals are uh, conductors they conduct electricity by making use of uh, free valency electrons so uh, valency electrons are free in metals so they they will be keep flowing so in this way metals conduct electricity most most polymers are uh, insulators they don't conduct electricity but we have uh, conducting polymers too conducting polymers are organic polymers having highly delocalized pi electron system and they exhibit conductors uh, like metallic conductors such a type of organic polymers are called as uh, conducting polymers so conducting polymer is an organic polymer with a highly delocalized pi electron system delocalized pi electron system so pi electron cloud will be delocalized here it will be keep uh, it will be changing going on changing so such delocalized pi electron system exists in conducting polymers because of that delocalized pi electron cloud uh, pi electron cloud Uh, conducting polymers they conduct the electricity examples of uh, conducting polymers are polyethylene polythiophene polyaniline polyphenylene these are the examples you can see in the picture this is polyethylene polyethylene we have uh, alternate double bonds here uh, in polyethylene uh, nothing but we can say conjugation exists in uh, polyethylene and similarly another example polyaniline uh, here c6h5 single bond n single bond h so this is the repeating unit and uh, in this uh, polyaniline we have uh, number of uh, uh, this type of uh, repeating units this is uh, uh, the structure of uh, polyaniline and another example polythiophene Polyth polythiophene we have uh, sulfur atom so uh, this is a structure of uh, polythiophene all these are uh, uh, the examples of uh, conducting polymers now polyethylene polyethylene synthesis uh, we will discuss now uh, polyethylene is uh, prepared from acetylene by using a catalyst uh, called as ziegler natta catalyst ziegler natta catalyst uh, is uh, a combination of two catalysts uh, one a main uh, compound and the other one is a co catalyst so uh, it consists of two types of compounds a titanium zirconium or hafnium compounds as the main compounds around uh, in addition to these uh, compounds we have uh, organo metallic compounds also so organo metallic compounds along with uh, titanium zirconium or hafnium compounds that combination forms ziegler natta catalyst ziegler natta catalysts are uh, of two types homogeneous and heterogeneous these are uh, extensively used for uh, polymerization of uh, alkenes so in presence of uh, ziegler natta catalyst we can uh, polymerize acetylene so this is acetylene CH triple bond CH. Uh, let's take n number of uh, acetylene molecules. Uh, they undergo polymerization in presence of uh, Ziegler Natta catalyst, uh, and finally we get uh, polyethylene. So this is uh, a simplified form of uh, polyethylene. Uh, we have a double bond here, and this is only one repeating unit. Like this, we have uh, n number of uh, repeating units. So this is a uh, synthesis of uh, polyethylene. Next, we will discuss the Uh, mechanism of conduction in polyethylene polyethylene uh, is a conducting polymer it will conduct electricity now we will discuss how uh, it conducts electricity so normal polyethylene will not conduct electricity but the polyethylene doped polyethylene polyethylene after doping either p doping or n doping it conducts uh, electricity now we will discuss uh, the p doping of uh, polyethylene so p doping indicates positive doping here and we can see in the picture this is polyethylene uh, this is a structure alternatively we have double bonds here uh, this is a double bond this is a double bond double bond double bond like this and uh, in this double bond we have one sigma bond the other one is uh, the other one is pi bond now this polyethylene that is treated with electron deficient species electron deficient species or electron withdrawing species they are called as p doping agents p doping agents like arsenic trifluoride bromine iodine in ccl4 
these are electron deficient species or electron withdrawing species. So now polyethylene is treated with uh, IBNCCL4. In the first step, uh, one electron is removed from uh, polyethylene. Say, uh, so polyethylene has uh, uh, double bonds, nothing but the pi bonds are there. So pi bond uh, can be easily broken uh, compared to sigma bond. So for example, this pi bond. So from uh, this pi bond is broken and one electron is removed from the polyethylene by iodine CCL4. Iodine CCL4 will attract or will remove one electron from the pi bond of polyethylene and it forms a polar arm. So one electron is removed. After removal of one electron, it forms a, a radical cation. This is radical and we have a cation also. This radical cation is called a polar arm. So when uh, when polyethylene is uh, treated with iodine CCL4, in the first step, uh, a polaron or radical cation is formed. Then in, in the second step, uh, again, again the polaron is treated with uh, uh, iodine CCL4, one more electron will be removed from the polaron, uh, from the polyethylene. So now see, uh, this is a polaron, radical cation, and one more electron is lost, nothing but the, this electron uh, is lost. So here also positive charge. So previously we have radical cation, this is radical and here positive charge. But here now this electron is also removed. So we have two positive charges. This is called as bipolar on. So this is bipolar on and now after the formation of the bipolar on, shifting of bonds occur here, rearrangement occurs here. See how it occurs. So this is double bond or pi bond. So pi bond uh, indicates two electrons. This pi bond is shifted onto this single bond. So when this pi bond is shifted onto this single bond, this positive charge will be shifted onto this carbon. So it gives, it, uh, it forms like this. Now here no more double bond as this double bond is shifted on, shifted onto this bond. Now here we have double bond and here we don't have a positive charge as it is shifted, shifted to the adjacent carbon like this here. Now, Similarly here also, this double bond is shifted onto this single bond. So here a double bond will be formed like this and this positive charge will be shifted onto this carbon. Now these two positive charges are apart. This leads to formation of a soliton pair. This is called soliton pair. Now these positive charges, two positive charges, they keep on moving. They keep on moving through the uh, polyethylene main chain. So these positive, positive charges, they will be shifting from one carbon to another carbon, one carbon to another carbon. So movement of a positive charge are nothing but the movement of charge or flow of charge is uh, electricity. So now this is conducting polyethylene. Now this will conduct uh, electricity. This is uh, P-doping of uh, polyethylene. So next one is... Uh, uh, mechanism of conduction in polyethylene by N doping. So, so far now we discussed the uh, P doping of polyethylene, now N doping. Uh, N doping is negative doping or uh, a development of negative charge or insertion of a negative charge into the substrate. Now, we we'll take again here polyethylene, this is a polyethylene having alternative double bonds, uh, double bonds here, it is in conjugation. Now, it is situated with uh, electron rich species. Electron rich species. Electron rich species example is sodium naphthalide or N doping agent. It is also called as N doping agent. When the polyethylene is treated with uh, uh, electron rich species, electrons are added to the polyethylene. Now, in the first step, uh, upon treating the polyethylene with the sodium naphthalide, one electron is added to the polyethylene. So, this is double bond here. A double bond means uh, uh, two electrons here. Now, when one electron is added here, uh, this carbon, uh, this carbon, uh, to this carbon one electron will be added. So it gets a negative charge and this carbon will get its one electron. So here we'll get a radical and here we'll get a negative charge. This is called radical anion, radical cation or radical anion. Uh, it is called as polaron. So first step is, uh, is the formation of polaron. Again, the polaron is again treated with one more molecule of sodium naphthalide. One more electron will be added to the polaron. So here previously we have one electron here, a radical. Again, uh, after treating with sodium naphthalide, one more electron will be added here. So now we have two negative charges, two negative charges here. 
this is called as bipolar on now these charges these negative charges they keep moving they keep moving apart uh, now see a uh, negative charge here indicates uh, two electrons so with this uh, with this negative charge or with this uh, uh, two electrons a bond can be formed now with this uh, negative charge with this two electrons uh, a bond will be formed between this carbon and uh, this carbon so so this pi bond will be shifted on to this carbon and so carbon uh, this carbon gets a negative charge like this as shown so when this negative charge is shifted it forms a double bond and uh, this uh, double bond i mean pi bond will be shifted on to this uh, carbon this carbon gets a negative charge uh, similarly uh, here also the same happens here negative charge uh, double bond formation here pi bond formed like this and uh, this pi bond will be shifted on to this uh, carbon so this is bipolar on uh, getting converted into solid on pair this is solid on pair a negative charge on the negative charge in the next step uh, this will keep on moving like this moving apart so movement of negative charge or movement of charge or flow of charge is nothing but the electricity and uh, in this way polyacetylene conducts electricity so polyacetylene after uh, p doping conducts electricity or after n doping also conducts electricity so this is about the mechanism of conduction in polyacetylene which is a conducting polymer thank you